There is a big need for blood donations right now as we approach the winter months when the supply is already low. The need for blood can really arise at any time. And Ashley, you talked to the Red Cross about this. Yeah, so the American Red Cross says this is the largest shortage, shortage that they've had in decades. And to further entice you to donate this month, they partner with the NFL to offer you tickets to the big game in mm. February. The American Red Cross is experiencing an emergency blood shortage during National Blood Donor Month. The shortage is so severe, they say this is the lowest amount of donors they've had in 20 years, with 40% fewer people donating. If you've never donated before, if you used to donate and haven't done so in a very long time, now's the time that we ask you to come back. Um, the blood supply is critically low. We are experiencing an emergency shortage, and if you've ever felt like you you wanted to donate, you want to donate again, we ask that you please do so now. This is a critical time for blood donations when the Red Cross is already dealing with a shortage due to winter weather, cold and flu season, and less people donating over the holidays. So you're, you're starting yourself off, you know, from a hole to begin with, and then kind of here comes January, a very difficult time to collect blood on top of that. So what you see is just a convergence of issues that are really leading to uh, this blood emergency that we're experiencing currently. That's why they need you to take the time to save someone's life. The process is fairly simple to donate and you can do so every 56 days. Hour of your time to help save lives. There isn't a better way to spend an hour of your time than, than helping people out there who need your help um, to save their life. So that's why we ask that, that people would please make their appointment to donate blood. During this National Blood Donor Month, not only will you save lives, but you can win a pair of tickets to the Super Bowl in Las Vegas. And so we already have a link online for you to make that appointment. And I found this very interesting. You can download the American Red Cross app, and after you donate blood, you can follow where that blood goes. Really? So you know normally you donate blood and you think to yourself, okay, like this is going to go to a good cause. You can actually watch where it goes, what hospital. You don't. You obviously wouldn't see who it helps. Yeah, because you're not but, stalking that person. Right, yeah. but you would at least see what hospital it goes to, and then you would know that it gets used there, which is pretty cool. But it also shows you when it's getting used, yes. not just stored in like a fridge. Exactly, and you know, this actually has a really big tie into weather, their need for blood. Of course, you have the winter months, then you have severe weather, and oftentimes in those kinds of uh, disasters, they need blood donations. So, um, you know, now that we're going into that cold weather, they're going to need the blood. So easy to make a, an appointment. We have that link online right now. Well done.